I am a naughty robot, a naughty, naughty robot. Oh, Mickey, the entire conservatory, all Dad's plants. Wrecked. Naughty robot, smack me on the body. Now, don't. He's only little. <laughs> oh, so at least one of your plants is still okay, Dad? <laughs> well, it might throw up, Mr. Wilberforce. Yeah, Dad, why don't you bung it some of that special plant food? Or bone meal? Ah, uh, I know. Dried blood. Any volunteers? <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mickey, how could you? I was doing the bogey. In the conservatory? Amongst all those plants and lights and stuff? When you got the bogey, you got the bogey. <laughs> Mickey? Sorry. Now listen. If Dad finds out it was you, he'll go absolutely... No, he won't. I told him it was me. You? And how could you cause so much damage? I said my chair went into a high-speed wobble. <laughs> Not Granny. She wouldn't. She would. She wouldn't. Well, she might. Yes. Perhaps she's covering up for someone. Well, who? Well, Steve. They're two of a kind. Mm, well, they've got a lot in common. Yes, they're both common. <laughs> you know, I bet it was Steve practicing his Kong Fu. His what, dear? You know, his Kong Fu. Oh. <laughs> well, I'll say it was me. Why? Well, I'm not one of the family. Look, this is no time for idle boasting. <laughs> no, I'll say... Mr Wilberforce, it was me what destroyed your jungle. For what reason? Um, it was full of Japanese soldiers who didn't know the war was over. Oh. <laughs> no, listen, what we ought to do is replace the plant. Yes. Hey, that's a great idea. Who's got any money? <laughs> <laughs> oh, well, ask a silly question. Well, I could buzz down to the Derby and Joan Club. Ask them if they want a stripper. <laughs> oh, diggity dog. Wow. Well, I've got a smashing routine. I bet you have my little fruit bat. Last time I done it, we was raided. <laughs> I stripped off me car <laughs> Look, I know the old man. Even if we buy him new plants, he won't accept them. Yes, when it comes to plants, Dad's a... Uh... Uh, nuffer? Yeah. Look, I can hear him now. My plants, they're irreplaceable. Quite irreplaceable. <laughs> irreplaceable. Quite irreplaceable. I know, dear. <sighs> Do you remember last Christmas the kids bought me that bonsai tree? Mm. I couldn't cope with it. No, well, you couldn't speak Japanese. <laughs> no, I couldn't. No, Marjorie, I do not talk to plants. Of course, dear. Will you uh, bury these tonight? Yes, I'll read the service myself. <laughs> Meanwhile, I must be off. Oh, going to work, dear? No, dear, I'm going to bash up Kew Gardens. <laughs> you don't think it was the robot, do you? No, the robot doesn't speak Japanese either. <laughs> I bet he blames me. Why, you little squirt. Well, he blames me for everything. The Titanic, the Black Death. British Leyland. <laughs> Listen, why don't we just grass on Mickey and then Dad will lob him out and we'll all be happy? Oh, no. Put him up, big mouth. All right, just be both, <laughs> sunshine. If he goes, I go. Correction, if he goes, you go. Oh, look, come on. We've got to buy some new yes. plants. Well, my grant's gone. Steve, any cash? <laughs> well, what about your allowance? It's spent. What on? I know. He bought ten packets of atomic thunder buses for Mickey. He loves me. He loves me. Hey, <laughs> Sorry. Well, Janie, you've got a job. Oh, yeah. Apprentice hairdresser. Ten quid a week and all the hair you can eat. <laughs> <laughs> Look, hasn't anybody got any money? Clever clocks. Yeah? What is money? Money? Oh, um, hang on. I think of Yes. Here we are. That's money. That's a ten. Negative. I can count. That is a one. I know, but it's worth ten pence. What's that in real money? <laughs> money is what you use to buy things with. Uh, Steve used money to buy you your sweets. Oh, give us a kiss. <laughs> yeah. Money is the root of all evil. It's not. It is. Beetroot's the root of all evil. <laughs> Where does money come from? Money, a mint. Get a bit of that down your front, you're marked for life. <laughs> Does Boatface make money when he goes to work? Well, yes. 
Nanny works in a mint. Yeah, but it's known as a building society. <laughs> I can make money. Pardon? What? Put that thing in my mouth. Oh, don't be stupid. Come on, clever clocks. Feed me the money. Well, that's my last... Te mm. All right. I got the power. <laughs> That? Your change. <laughs> I'm a mint. I'm a mint. Look, it just came out of this little hole. Absolutely. I'm the mint with the hole. <laughs> Look, tell us how you did it. Yes, come on, tell us. It was a snip. I took the density coefficient of zinc oxide, related it to the atomic weight of nickel, and applied the nuclear radiation count in both cases. All right, then don't tell us. Look, can we do it again? Yes, yes come on, give him another one. Here, here, pack it in, you lot. What's the matter, Gran? Counterfeiting's illegal. What's more, it's illegitimate. <laughs> Super Gran's right. I suppose we better not. Yeah, but we can use this money to buy Dad a new plant, can't we? Eh? Right. Yes, come on. Right. Uh, look after Mickey, Gran, will you? Look after Gran, Mickey. Yes. Fluffy. Hello. Look what Granny's got for you. Oh. Open wide. <laughs> Don't follow. Chew it slow. It's a fiver. Wow, wow, wow. <laughs> No, Marjorie, I'm next door. <laughs> oh, sorry, dear, sorry. No, 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 my fault. I apologise. I'm sorry, Marjorie. Oh, dear, don't you feel well? Well, I've had an absolutely awful day. Oh, dear, dear. Well, this young couple came in with no money and not much of a job and a baby on the way and... and I gave them a mortgage! <laughs> oh, my God, <laughs> There, you can always buy some new plants. Don't want new plants, I want old plants. <laughs> Shall I ask the vicar to call? Heavens, no. Hi, Dad. Uh, we've got something for you. Yes. Ta da! <laughs> oh. <laughs> huh. Dad, please. Oh, come on, you might at least say hello to it. Don't talk to strangers. See, I told you. <laughs> there you are, boot face. <laughs> We've bought you a lovely new plant. Seen it. We've presented it. No, you haven't. This is from me and Fluffy. Come on, Fluff. Forward. Bogey, bogey. Wow. Bogey, bogey. Bogey, bogey. Wow. Here you are. Isn't it a smatcher? Pretty neat, huh? Oh, Granny, that must have cost you a fortune. Where did you get the money to... You didn't. She did. She is a naughty little fruit bat. Oh, you thief. You thief. I never eat done it. I don't care. I don't want either of them. I told you, didn't I? Wait, I can fix it. Stand back. I got the power. Yeah? What's the... What a tall boy. What a big, strong man. <laughs> I know. I'll call you Pyramus and Thisbe. No, 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 I won't. Romeo and Juliet. Oh, thank you, kid. Muck and bullets. Gin and tonic. Oh, I've got it. Anne and Mark. <laughs> I don't know how you did it, Mickey, but you did it. I got the power of clever clocks, the power to make people love things. Oh, it's all a load of rubbish. I shall now make little squirt love West Ham. West Ham? <laughs> West Ham? Oh, come on, Mickey, anything but West Ham, please. <laughs> hey, Gran, can you run? No, of course I can't. Uh, can you waddle? Oh, yes, I'm ice waddler. Then you better waddle for your life. What for? It's the fouls. Counts. <laughs> Counterfeiting involving us? Don't be silly. Are you calling a police officer silly, sir? What? Oh, no, 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 no. I wouldn't do that. Don't be s 
<laughs> the counterfeit five pound notes were passed in a garden shop. Each one had the same number. That was soon spotted. Good. We obtained a clear description of who passed them. Good. She lives here. Good. Good. <laughs> All right, officer. I confess it was me. Wasn't you, madam? Oh no, of course it wasn't. Silly me. <laughs> this lady does answer the description. How old are you, madam? Well, it varies. <laughs> but I'm wonderful for me age. Oh, now look, there must be some mistake. I mean, there's no counterfeiting going on here. Now let's have a drink and... <laughs> no, not on duty, of course not. I know, a nice cup of tea. <laughs> No, no, we haven't got any. Uh, have you seen my double oh, phrase? No, Marjorie, we haven't got any. <laughs> I know. How about a nice cooling glass of orange squash, yes? Make sure they don't open the cupboards in. Oh, fiddle. <laughs> Time is the court staff. 10.30, they said. She'll go to prison. She will. Oh, dear. Six months at least. Oh, but what about good behaviour? Uh, Twelve months at least. <laughs> you know, I could tell the magistrate that I did it. I mean, after all, I could have done it. I could have made all that counterfeit money. I could have... No. No, I don't suppose I could, really. Well, I can't say I did it. I mean, one whiff of scandal and I'd have to leave the building society. Yes, dear. We'd get a proper job. <laughs> well, Granny, you all right? Yes. The condemned woman ate a hearty breakfast. Yeah, gin omelette. <laughs> Granny, there's one thing I must ask you. Why did you make so much money? Well, I wanted to save up a little for old age. <laughs> old age? Yes, old age. It's running at Kenton tomorrow. <laughs> Shut your face. Yes, and that thing's not coming. But, Dad... It's too cheeky. May say something rude to the magistrate. And that is contempt of court. And it could go to prison. Yes, bring it. <laughs> yes, Ma'am? If they do put me down, will they send me to Holloway? Yes, I'm afraid so. Oh, blast. I wanted to go to the scrubs with the fellas. <laughs> Clever clocks. Silence, please. Who's the turkey? <laughs> Silence. Silence. That one, the dirty gobbler. Shh, Mickey, that's the clerk of the court. Will you please be quiet in the court? Gobble, gobble, gobble. <laughs> Mickey. All rise. Wow. Look at blubber guts. <laughs> Mickey. It's the great white whale. <laughs> Will you shut up? That's I'm... the magistrate. I know why he sits up there. Why? So he can see over his stomach. <laughs> For the last time, silence! Ken, switch that thing off. All right, Mickey, go to sleep. Oh, all right. Good night. First case, Your Worship. Proceed. Call Mrs. Mary Edwina Birkinshaw. Call Mrs. Mary Edwina Birkinshaw. Edwina. <laughs> oh, give that to Mickey, else I'll belt you with these. Madam, that is the Bible. Yes, thank you. Be all right if I chuck it at him. Madam! I can't help my name, can I? Mum called me for Dad. He was called Edwina, too. <laughs> First sign of wedding bells and he's scarpered. Yes. Jolly good riddance, uh, ask me. Madam, please. Uh, now... 
Are you Mrs. Mary Edwina Birkenshaw? Yes, dear. What else have we been on the bell? <laughs> Mrs. Birkenshaw, you are charged with counterfeiting the currency of the realm. How do you plead? Guilty or not guilty? Well... Guilty or not guilty? Well, I don't... She wasn't going to ask me that. <laughs> How do you plead? It's my knees. <laughs> what did she say? She says it's her knees. <laughs> they give me jib. They give her jib? Well, what's that got to do? You wouldn't say that if you had my kneecaps. Madam, I do not have your kneecaps. How would you know? Pardon? How many years since you last seen your kneecaps? You tell him, Fruit Bat. I've told him, Fluffy. Hot diggity dog, buggy, 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 buggy. Silence! I knew it would be like this. I knew it. Oh, I knew it. that man's name. No, he wasn't me. You don't Charge know. him with contempt of court. <laughs> oh. Now, madam, for the last time, do you plead guilty or not guilty? Well, how about not very guilty? <laughs> Before I pass judgment in this case, I understand that you wish to make a statement as to the character of the defendant. What? Shh. Tell him I'm a sweet-faced old lady. <laughs> She's a nice grand, honest, Your Worship. Tell him I'm wonderful for my age. In what way is she an ace grand? Well, advice and things like that. I mean, I remember once she told me to stop spending all my time in the bookies and that I ought to go back to school. It was a very unselfish thing to do. Unselfish? Why was that unselfish? Oh, she had to put her own bets on then, didn't she? <laughs> Please, I'd like to say that Granny helped me to develop as a person. In what way? Well, Granny taught me the facts of life. Shouldn't your mother have taught you that? Well, she couldn't remember. <laughs> Anyone else? Oh, yes. Uh, well, I'm a student of electronic engineering, and while I was working on a project for a new tea vending machine, Granny had an idea which gave it a whole new dimension. In what respect? Well, if you press the right button, you get a neat gin. It's right, your worship, I did. Oh. I think I have heard enough. Oh, please, I I'd like to say something. Yes. <clears throat> well, she's a very modern and broad-minded lady. And she can boogie. Yeah, oh, yeah, I can boogie. So can I boogie. Yes, boogie, boogie. Silence! <laughs> May I tell you something? Yes, madam. Come on, dear, stand up. This is my husband. Madam, you have the sympathy of the court. <laughs> Thank you. Well, my mother, Granny, came to me and she gave me the most wonderful advice the night before my wedding. What did she say? Don't marry him. <laughs> oh, Julie. Julie. Well, if those are all the statements for the defendant, then... Just one second, Blubberguts. What is that thing? Oh, it's my son's robot. Sit down. Wanna... Sorry, sir. Robot? <laughs> well, look what they can do with silicone chips. Look what you can do with potato chips. Well, what does it want? I wish to give evidence on behalf of my friend, the little Fred Bat. Oh, I'm sorry, you're... Sit uh, down! Sorry, sir. <clears throat> can a robot give evidence? There, there's nothing to say it can't. Oh, well, very well. Proceed. State your name. Metal Michael, your blubber ship. That's not a proper name. I'll put it down as Exhibit A. Exhibit. I feel like a poodle at Crafts. Proceed. I apologize, Your Worships. We will see before you a worthless and wretched person. Here, draw it mild. The defendant? No, the bold face. Oh, now look here. Sit down. Sorry, sir. All the family is soft in the head. Oh, look, I protest. Sit down. Sorry, sir. <laughs> The defendant herself is soft in the head. Oh, no! Compared to me, you are. Are you saying that she's guilty but insane? She must be Barney Dove. She talks to robots. Yes, I know. What? <laughs> How dare you! Your worships, I am on my knees. Nonsense! I would be, but my legs don't bend. It's his knees. Silence. 
I'd give you the cheek. <laughs> that will be all. I'm sorry, my little fruit bat. I tried. Ah, oh, bless your little heart. I haven't got a heart. Well, bless your little transistor. <laughs> what is the maximum sentence I can pass? I blew it. I blew it. Mickey, you've forgotten something important. Your birthday. Uh, no, no, your power. You remember Dad and his plants? The power to make people love things. I dig it, dog. Now, Mrs. Birkinshaw, I have listened to all the evidence in this case, and I have no alternative but to send you... I have no alternative <laughs> And to ask your forgiveness for all the trouble you've been put to, my dear Mrs. Birkinshaw. My pleasure. And there was me thinking you were a right old stinker. <laughs> I was wrong. How sweet. Your bananas. Thank you. Don't mention. <laughs> now, that case of contempt of court. <laughs> You've done it again, Mickey. Fantastic. Pretty neat, huh? There you go, Mick. A brand new packet of atomic thunderbusters. Get them done, you know. Wow. Most kind. Thank you so much. <laughs> wow, I feel so sleepy. Where's Gran? They let him off with a pardon. Yes, the shame of it. The Iggy Moni. Especially the Iggy Moni. <laughs> Where's Gran? Now listen, Mickey, you've got to remember, no more forgeries of money, okay? No more counterfeiting. Two true clever clocks. Never again. Never again. Where is Granny? We only popped in for it. Here you go, Fluffy. Oh, choke up, chicken. Mickey, I just said no more counterfeiting. Don't worry, clever clocks. What are you getting all steamed up about? This isn't counterfeiting. It's bootlegging. <laughs> Don't wait up for me, because I might be early. Know what I mean. 